Hello my friend and welcome back to another video in my backyard. If you're new to the channel and have never seen a backyard chat video, then welcome. But also, I'm sorry for the cicadas. There's just nothing I can do about it. So you're going to hear them on the audio, but we'll just dive right in. This video is pretty much just a what's in my bag video, but it's kind of specifically targeted towards wedding filmmakers who like to travel, who use minimalist kits, and are maybe on a budget. That's kind of all of my sorts of things all wrapped into this bag here, uh, as well as technically some carry-on items. Uh, my wife and I are carry-on only. We don't use a lot of gear, but we do travel a ton. I haven't made a video like this in a really long time. I think it was one of my first videos on YouTube. Please don't go find it, but this video is important because I just upgraded some pieces of my kit here and I think it'll help to walk through kind of my approach and also just maybe you pick up some pieces that are in my bag and you see how I've gone about packing it all or, or you know, arranging a kit for a wedding film on a minimalist, travel-friendly kind of budget. So I just finished recording the video, but I'm interrupting right now to tell you that I just got back from filming a wedding in California and that's why I'm making this video is because I realized it's time to update the what's in my bag. But also I wanted to tell you that I'm making a Fujifilm X-H2S video setup setting guide video. So definitely stick around for that because it's going to be coming soon. I found some really helpful menu settings because the X-H2S has some new capabilities that the X-T4 did not have that really helped me with my workflow. But I'm also hopefully sharing that wedding film so that you can see a little bit of the image quality, but those videos will come back to this video. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get rolling uh, with actually the camera that is rolling right now. Pointed right at me is the Fujifilm X-H2S. That is my most recent update to the kit here and it is going to become and has become my wedding film workhorse as well as everything else. It's recording me right now in 6K 3x2 open gate and I hope that you like this footage. I uploaded it in 6K 3x2 because I just want to see you know, the, the resolution at its fullest and I also kind of like this experiment of 3x2 video. So we're going to see where that goes but Normally that's right here in the top mouth of my bag. Uh, and this bag is the Shimoda Action X30. Uh, they have updated this bag since I bought it. I don't know much about the update. I didn't really look into it. Uh, I've really liked this bag. There have been a few quirks and gripes that I haven't loved, but I've known at least one person who I feel like has bought every major bag out there and it just doesn't seem like you can ever find quite the perfect bag. Uh, so I think you just learn to live with some of the gripes. And this bag by far has been my favorite of any that I've bought. So anyway, right here is a roll top as well. So we can access the front through the mouth or through the roll top. And right here, right up top in the roll top is my Fujifilm X-H2S. That is the latest. It also has on it the Sigma 18 to 35 lens for Canon, but I have it adapted with the Fringer EF to FX Pro 2 adapter. So I've not made videos in a long time about that setup there, but it's always the setup that is on my camera. That lens with the adapter, everything that I do is filmed with it. Rarely ever do I have anything else. Sometimes I have my second camera with the Fuji 18 to 55, which you'll see later, uh, but that's pretty much it. So that is the centerpiece of my bag. And then we'll just keep moving on by going through the top and working our way through every pocket on this thing. But I guess before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and set these items aside because these are kind of in my carry-on bag. And some other items would happen to fall in this area, so I'm kind of using these as a catch-all, but these are my Freewell Magnetic Variable ND filters. There's a lot I could say here. I'm not a variable ND person. I want NDs in my camera someday, but for the time being, the cameras with that don't fit other parts of my workflow, so I just roll with variables, and I only use them when I'm in the mood to. 
I don't know, I just pick and choose when I want to use them or when I want to just crank my shutter. It really does not matter that much to me at this point or per project, I will choose to use these. So anyway, that's a whole different conversation. But if you've been around my channel for very long, you know I don't love ND filters, but if I have to use NDs, I like these free will magnetic variables. So that's number one. Those go in my carry-on bag usually, not in the main bag. And then is the tripod. And I'm using two of my tripods right now, uh, one for this one and one for this angle. But this tripod here is just a placeholder. I'll normally put my tripod in a carry-on bag. Uh, and then for the wedding day or for shoot days, I'll put it outside of the bag strapped on there. But just a placeholder. Uh, there are other items that you could use in a carry-on bag, but I just don't. I don't travel with lighting for weddings, though if you wanted to, you could possibly squeeze those in a carry-on bag for a quick travel weekend. And there are maybe other items that I will end up with in my carry-on bag if I need extra Super 8 film, not just the one cartridge. Sometimes I'll just bring that in there. But anyway, all that to say, I do have some items that go in a carry-on bag, but this here is the rest of my kit. So let's just keep working through the bag. We'll go one item by one item. There might be a lot to go through here, but I'll try and keep it quick. Headphones, these ones are really great. Me audio, they're technically in-ear monitors. And in here I have my iPhone dongle, as well as the corded headphones here. And sometimes I end up being able to fit my external hard drive in here. So this is my two terabyte SanDisk SSD. I usually actually for travel days will squeeze it in here together and then zip it all up so that I don't misplace either of them because I have left a hard drive in an airport, which is a video that I want to make someday. But anyway, my headphones are one of the most crucial parts. Uh, and then let's see, my Super 8 is the next piece. Uh, this is my Canon 310 XL. Although I also have an 814 XL electronic. I like this one a lot. I do a lot of Super 8 for weddings. So this comes with me. Usually I'll go ahead and put the film in ahead of time. But if I don't have any film active, there won't be any in there. And then I always ask for a hand check on this at the airport. I've never had any problems with that. If you see anybody on the internet saying they've had problems, maybe they're not nice to TSA or maybe they're having a bad day, but I've never had problems with it. So anyway, yeah, that's my Super 8 camera. And that's pretty much it for the top. I've got a pin in here. A pin is uh, kind of a silly thing to always have, but Pilot G2 pins, 0.38. That's just, that's where it's at. Uh, and then actually I do have a little interior liner pocket here. And inside of this pocket, I do keep an Apple cord, which is USB-C to lightning. I don't really use these at home, this specific type of cord, but when I'm traveling for my laptop to be able to charge, my phone is super convenient. And more and more charging stations in airports or in hotels or whatever tend to have USB-C available. So this one's nice. It just lives in my bag. And then this is one of the handiest tips that I've ever picked up in all of filmmaking. I don't know whoever said it, but take a business card or take any single like thin thing that you can, uh, something just to you know structure the base here, and then wrap gaff tape around it. I know you probably can't even see that on camera, but once you wrap gaff tape around this, gaff tape of course doesn't you know stick to itself and leave residue, which is incredible. So you just create yourself a little mini roll of gaff tape and you don't have to travel with a whole big, you know, duct tape wad worth of gaff tape. So anyway, those are two little random things that are inside of the top car compartment that uh, are not camera or whatever. They're just kind of random. And then we're going to go to the front lip here and I'll just kind of go to the inside. This is my anchor power bank. I don't know. It's older. I really don't even know if it's sold anymore. Periodically, I will use this to charge my cameras while recording on a wedding day. And for that situation, I typically don't shoot with rigs, although there might be a video coming about an X-H2 rig. But I just throw it into my pocket and then with it in my pocket, 
here's another iPhone cord. Uh, with that in my pocket, I will use my USB-C cord that I have gaff taped to it. It's USB-C as well as USB-A or standard or micro. Um, and then it goes to a regular USB port, which goes into the battery. So that is how I power a camera periodically on a wedding day, but it also works for charging my phone throughout an airport or whatever it is that I need it for. But it's always handy to have. Then a cleaning cloth just kind of lives dropped in my bag somewhere. It'll always be in my bag. And I know I can have, I know I can always count on having one, even if it's hard to find, it's just, it's in there. So then the last thing is lens wipes. These are super silly to just like always have because you need them, you need them when you don't expect them and it's just nice to keep them around. So anyway, that's kind of the next thing. And then I don't think I have anything else, just more lens wipes down in there. And then next is the power area. And this is basically just where my batteries are. I already took out my battery bank, but I have two extra Fuji uh, X-T4 or X-H2 batteries in there. I have a charger in there, but we'll get to that. I have one, two more batteries. And then I have a dual charging brick, which is really nice to have. So a dual charging brick. And then I have my actual Fujifilm battery charger. So this charges two batteries at one time. These are my favorite off-brand of batteries that I've found. And uh, those off-brand batteries have served me well in my X-T4. So I bought an extra set to have for my X-H2S. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much all of the top compartment of my bag here. Uh, and then from there, I guess I could look in the sides of my bag, but I really don't keep much in there. Uh, more lens wipes. Uh, sometimes there's another cleaning cloth in there, but I keep those sorts of silly accessories all over the place so that I can always find them when I need them. But then we flip it over and this is where my laptop lives. So 16 inch MacBook Pro, it's worked wonders for me. It's the M1, one terabyte, but otherwise there's no upgrades or updates to this. It's the 16 inch M1, one terabyte. So that goes in the top back sleeve here. And I've really enjoyed this sleeve pocket. Uh, I should make a dedicated bag review video, but it's nice because the laptop can slide in and out uh, right there, but it's against my back, so that feels secure. Anyway, then inside the bag is nothing terribly exciting, uh, really, but it's a few of the key pieces for sure. So laptop charger that just lives in the back here, just kind of free floating, honestly. And then I almost always have a film camera of some kind I just love to shoot film photo on our trips and so a film camera will come with me. Then the Fuji X-T4 which has been my primary workhorse for a long time. As you can tell based on the patina there is a little bit of love and care on this camera. So anyway that's uh, my backup camera and the Fuji 18-55 lives on this camera. So this is just a solid backup. It's so great to have around now as a backup because it's fully capable as just a pro camera on its own. And uh, I always keep an SD card in there. I always keep two SD cards for weddings in there. And this thing prior to a wedding is set up and ready to shoot with. So that way, if I fall and break the X-H2S or if something happens, I have a camera that I can just take out of my bag and start shooting with. So anyway, that's that camera. That's the kind of uh, backup, I guess, inside of this kit, because I always think even in a budget, minimalist, travel friendly kit, you should have a camera because you just never know what's going to happen. So you should back up your main one. Uh, and then the Mavic 2 Pro, which I don't really need to take out and show you, but uh, here it is, the Mavic 2 Pro. I it's it's a great drone. You know, you've probably seen all the videos. It's old now at this point. It's outdated, it feels like, but still gives me a great image when I need it. And I really, really enjoy using it when I get to. Uh, a lot of our weddings happen in national parks or in cities. So 
I am sparing with my use of it. I do have the FAA commercial license, but anyway, it's, it just doesn't come out of my bag as often as I would like, but I enjoy you know, using it and it's easy enough to bring along. Then you have the charger tucked away kind of in this little corner here. Uh, it's, it's a really tiny little compartment that I've made for it. Uh, but then you also have your Tascam DR10L. One of them is on me right now, but the white and black kit is just perfect for weddings. Uh, I don't always or rarely ever mic my brides, but when I need to, if I want to, the white is really nice and discreet. And also, even if it has to go on an efficient, it's not too distracting um, or distracting really at all. So it'll also go on the board oftentimes, the white one will. And I have a kit here of three cables that are just incredible. This is an XLR, it's a quarter inch, and it's an RCA to uh, a standard headphone, which is what the Tascam takes. And that way, anytime I show up to any wedding on any board, I know that I'm going to be able to take audio out of it with this little kit here and record it onto the Tascam. So that's why I have that little kit set up there. And then my SD cards. This is just a simple SD card case that I bought from Amazon, I don't know, seven years ago, a long time ago. And I don't know if it's waterproof anymore or if it ever was, but I haven't needed to find out. I will maybe eventually get one now that has SD cards as well as CF Express slots because I do have CF Express now that I have the XH2S. But for now, this has served me just fine and I'm gonna keep using it. Uh, and then my only lighting that I travel with basically is the Aperture MC. It's just a nice, easy little light that you can just flick on at a reception if you need to. Uh, especially if I'm shooting Super 8 and I kind of want a little extra light if the sun has gone down. This is kind of a fun way to add that. It can get really, really bright. Has the nice little soft silicone gel cover so that, you know, I, I have some diffusion on there. It's not just direct light. Photographers, my wife especially, is the main photographer I work with. Uh, usually don't get upset about uh, this on a nice even lighting and especially if you don't have it on full power because it's not distracting. You can usually, if you're shooting handheld like I do, you can usually just hold it in one hand and have your camera in the other. Uh, it's not terribly hard to use. So anyway, that's kind of the travel, that's the travel lighting that I travel with. That's all that I use. And that's pretty much it for what's in my bag. Uh, there is a few little random things in the uh, front shoulder strap handles here. I have an extra plate for my quick release and then I have a cable release for when I'm shooting photos at night and I just want to have a cable release for long exposures. Uh, then in this pocket I think I used to keep a mask. Uh, there might still be one in either of these but that's pretty much the majority of what's in my bag. So that is all that I have for this video my friend. If this was helpful to you at all please do the like, comment, subscribe, YouTube stuff. It does help me. And also ask a question if it wasn't helpful. If you need to know more information or if you don't like my kit and you have some feedback, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. What's in your bag? Is there anything here that you want to pick up? Is there anything that you wish that I would have instead of something else? I would love any suggestions you have. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bless you, friend. Oh, field of mushrooms Are you man or poison? Sometimes my God is so